Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to tie a, it's basically a shrimp pattern of mine, um, although it has a bucktail tail and not a golden pheasant. Um, it's called Karen's Shrimp, so that's it. It's based on a Wilkinson um, with the hackles, only the reversed, and then it has a black rear body, silver front body, and it has the colours of a Calvin Shrimp in the tail, so it's a bit of a cross between two two very good flies, the Wilkinson and the Calvin. There's points from both those and then it has a fluorescent uh, pink tag on it and a black rear body, red head. So I'm going to show you how to tie that. This is a partridge code P and it's a size 8. So just going to catch the tie and thread on and catch on a wee short length of oval silver tinsel. This is a wee short length I had sitting on the desk, so it's only, it's only do a couple of turns, or th two to three turns, to stop the floss from slipping off the. So catch that in. And then what I do immediately is what finish that with two or three turns and take the take the tan thread away. <coughs> and this is glue break uh, number one floss in magenta, I think it is. So catch it on just halfway up the body and then take it so it's right up against the tag and come up again. And back down, come right over to nearly the eye, at which point you can start your white thread again. Just come back over your floss, six or eight turns, and then trim the waist piece of your white <coughs> and the waist piece of your floss away. Now, this is the what's used for the tail. Now, this has already been pre mixed up. I made a bunch of this the other day, it was 10 set of these. So basically that's the tail there. And what it is is orange, hot orange, red, and a fluorescent pink a bucktail. And just blend it together by in hand. And don't make the tail too bulky. Keep it keep it reasonably sparse. So Fish better in the water if the tail's a bit sparser. Let the water move it more, so get it tied in and then trim away your waist. A wee bit of wax at this point. And the original one I tied had pearl crystal flash, <coughs> but on the recent ones I've been tying, I've been using blue crystal hair. So a couple of strands just at the top. Tie them in and they blend in nicely so they do. If you wish you can put pearl or red, whatever you whatever you whatever you like. Uh, the rib on this is oval silver tinsel. That's small or fine. So I'm gonna catch that in. And the rear body is black floss. So That's the black floss in and wind up to sort of the halfway point or what you've left. The halfway point less your the head because it's still it's still a shrimp fly sort of part now where you've two halves of the body. So your turns of rib are gonna have to be pretty close here. Probably want, th want three turns, I think. There, just your tag takes a bit out of the length of the body, and then these code P's are reasonably short on the body anyway. So, um, for this part, it's going to be a orange or sorry, a blue, and these are hen 
saddle feathers I've been using. This is Silver Doctor Blue. So I'm going to tie this into the tip. You get a nice, uh, a nice bit of colour with only a couple of turns here. So. See the bulk, and also the gives you plenty of movement. The hen, the hen saddle, or the hen feathers. So, wind one, turn in front of the other, and tie off your stem. And at this point. This is silver wire for the front half of the body because I'm going to dub on a bit of holographic ice dub and silver for the front body. And we're going to keep the front body reasonably short. So, if I can find this, there we go. It's just, I think it's actually from Future Fly. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's Future Fly. It's like a holographic silver. There's actually a bit of pearl in it as well. So dub it onto the thread and take your first turn tied up against your your hackles, your middle hackle. And once you get it on, take two very close turns of the wire over it, and that will protect your your dubbing. And then bend and break the wire. Couple of these strands here at the eye. And at this point, I want magenta. Um, or in this case, this is actually fluorescent pink, and it's a, I think it's a white saddle, and it's dyed fluorescent pink. So I'm just going to cut it in with the tip again. You just have to ignore that front for the minute. So catch it in and again double double your hackles, your fibres over. And again probably two two turns is going to be plenty. Catch your Stock in and get a couple or three turns in a round to secure it. Get it sitting where you want it. At this point, we're going to get a couple of jungle cock eyes, uh, reasonably small as well. This cape is uh, nearly out of small eyes, so just bear with me till I get a couple here. There's two there, about a wee bit big, but they're going to have to do. Just pull the, the fibres away from where you want to tie them in, and tie one on my side. Couple of turns, tie one on the side facing the, the camera. Just check them for height or for size and length. But they're at this point, I'm just gonna give the thread a, a light wax. Not wanna slip down a bit. Work with it till you get it sitting where you want it. If you're not happy with it, just move it or adjust it. I'm just going to, at this point, go up finish that before anything moves. Trim away your, your white thread, trim away your waist stocks of the jungle cock, and then. 
you're tying this yourself and you want a red head, you can just use red thread, but I like to use the white thread and then just change the colour at the, at the head. This is glue bright. Number, I don't know what number it is, it's pulled the label off it. I think it's scarlet possibly. I can't remember the number of it. Once you've that caught in and it's secure, you can trim away your tag end and put the three turn rip finish on. And then make sure it's snugged up nice and tight. A bit of tension under your floss and trim it away. Um, at this point, a wee touch of varnish, or as I'm going to do, a wee dab of super glue, just the whole way around the head. And that's it finished. A um, couple of coats of varnish, so that's the Karen's shrimp. Thanks very much for watching.